Hi everyone. In this video, we're looking at how to use the Avada Mega Menu Builder. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Okay, let's begin. The Avada Mega Menu Builder introduces full freedom into Mega Menus by using the Avada Builder to build your Mega Menus. Combined with your main menu and a submenu element, you can build pretty much any sort of Mega Menu you wish. I've imported the online tutor pre-built site here, and I'm going to convert this courses submenu to a mega menu. Let's take a look at how this all comes together. It all starts with the main menu. Menus are found in the WordPress sidebar at Appearance, Menus. But there's also a shortcut in the top menu here when you're logged in under the website name. So let's open that. I've got the main menu open here, so let's convert it to utilize a mega menu. I can see the courses link in the parent menu has three sub items, and for this example, these can stay, as they will be used when the menu is shown in mobile mode. Alternatively, you could delete these and make a special menu just for mobile. In my example, the Mega Menu will only apply to large screen view. You could also use it on medium screens, but Mega Menus don't work well on small screens. Now if I open the Courses link and go to the Avada Menu options, we can see in the top option that I can set a Mega Menu here. As we haven't created one yet, there are no Mega Menus to choose from. So I'll have to do that first. I'll just open the library in a new tab by control or command clicking on the link in the description here. Now in the library here, I will select Mega Menu as the library element type and I'll call this Courses Mega Menu and just hit enter to create it. So now, as you can see, we are on a normal builder starter page. An easy way to get started with Mega Menus is to go to Avada Studio and import one of the examples in there. These can be then imported into your site and customized. But we can also just build one from scratch. That's the main advantage with the Mega Menu Builder. You can build whatever you want in the Builder to display as a Mega Menu. For my example, I will start with a container with four columns. Okay, there's no need to walk through every step of my build as it's completely up to you what layout and what content you use. And it's just the same process as building any page. So here's my finished and saved Mega Menu. I will show you a couple of important things though. If you are using submenus in your columns, then there is a new element available called submenu. This will only be visible when using the Mega Menu Builder. This element can display any menu. And so for this example, I created a simple menu called Mega Menu Submenu with the three items I wanted in it. And there are of course many ways to build Mega Menus. So if you want to display different menus in each column, you just have to create them first and then assign them using the submenu element. Also, if I head to the Page Options tab, there is a tab here called Mega Menu, and here you can set the preview of any dynamic content, and you can set the Mega Menu max width. This can be the site width, 100% width, or a custom width. As you can see, this one is set to site width. Okay, so now I have completed and saved my Mega Menu, let's go back to the main menu. I'll just refresh the page. And now, when I go into the Avada menu options on the Courses link, we have a Mega Menu to select in the drop-down. So let's choose that, and Save, and Save the Menu, and then let's return to our home page. I'll just refresh this. And now, when I mouse over Courses, my new Mega Menu appears. That looks great. And the real advantage of this is that the content can be anything you can build in the Builder. If I switch to medium screen view, the menu changes to a mobile menu. That's because the break point in the menu element is set to break at tablet. So here we have no mega menu and the three original submenu items are being displayed as well. Mobile view would of course be the same. Okay, so that's the Avada Mega Menu Builder. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if you have used this one on your site. This concludes our video on how to use the Avada Mega Menu Builder. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.